I want to talk to you, radio host at WABC New York and author James Golden, who you may know as Bo Snurley, joins me now. James, how unprecedented is the IOC's move? It's arbitrarily unfair, instinctively unfair. Now, if they, if the United States gymnastic team says they have time-stamped video that shows that they made the appeal on time. I don't see why they, I, I don't see the reason how they could not return the medal to her. It just seems amazingly unfair. And what kind of message does this send to other athletes? You know, because I have to believe they feel bad for her and I have to, I feel bad for that Romanian athlete also, who's also in limbo right now. Exactly. And you know, you hit, you hit the key word, bureaucracy. It's not the performers, it's not the athletes who are, who are competing in. This is all a bureaucratic mess. And that bureaucratic mess is not the only bureaucratic mess that the Olympics has, uh, has been faced with this time around. Uh, another mess I want to talk to you about, because I have to believe you have a strong opinion on this one, too. Uh, we're talking about Algerian boxer Emane Khalif. Uh, she said she'll file a complaint in France for online harassment after backlash for winning the gold medal for women's boxing. Critics have questioned her gender, but her father reportedly produced a document for Reuters indicating that she was born a woman. James, where do you stand on this, and how uncomfortable is this conversation even to have for a woman who has um, uh, won the gold? You know what? I was a victim of the initial reporting on this that failed to point out what you just said that she had proof that she was a woman, born a woman, and the first reporting left out that she had XY chromosomes, which is why there is some controversy at all. So it seemed at first, the first wave of reporting on this was, here is a man, and people assumed, and I did, transgendered or something, or identifying as a woman who is competing against women, and that was completely wrong. She has been a woman all her life. Now, scientists and science, what do you do? Do you determine that a person with, with a biological XY chromosome kit is a woman? That's not a question I think many of us are prepared to answer. And the Olympic head said, well, we don't know. We don't know how to define a woman. So I think the bureaucracy is going to have to really figure out how they're going to handle these kind of issues. But let's say this, she has handled herself with class throughout it. Can you imagine the attacks, that, the first wave of attacks that she got initially, and then after winning a second wave of attacks? But every story that I read following that, she just kind of brushed the attacks aside, aside and said, I want to focus on winning the goal. And, and she won the goal. And, Bo, when you come back, we have to talk about women's 4x400. Four I thought they were fantastic. James Golden, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.